Hey guys, okay, Jack Scalfani here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the new Kenmore Elite Smart Refrigerator. It's really awesome. Uh, it's got the, well, I'll show it all to you in a minute. But first, I just wanna to talk to you about when I got approached about this. Um, they obviously are sponsoring this video, but the cool thing is they said, if you have something negative to say, <laughs> me, really? Uh, if you have something negative to say about the refrigerator, please give an honest review. So uh, I do have some good and bad stuff that I wanna say. I've spent about three days looking it over, reading about it. Uh, I don't have any food in it yet because I wanna show it to you and how roomy it is and all the little features. Let me talk about the app that goes with the refrigerator. I wanna tell you about that first. It is the first negative thing that I experienced. It was really difficult. It's not a difficult app. It was difficult getting it to work. It kept spinning and it, wasn't, it wouldn't let me log on and then it froze up and then I had to delete the app and I had to reinstall the app and then I finally got it to hook up and link uh, to the refrigerator and then the refrigerator had to link to my network, which is fine. Um, and that failed like twice. Maybe Kenmore can work on the app feature um, and I'm gonna show you in a minute what the app does. <laughs> So this is it. It's got the French door opening with the bottom freezer. I'll show you the freezer in a minute, but I wanna, I wanna show you something that I noticed right off the bat. It's smaller uh, from side to side and in the back. And yet the inside of the refrigerator is the same space as my last refrigerator. And I'm like, how can that be? So I was talking with the guys that deliver this refrigerator and they're saying that the parts, they have streamlined all the parts on this refrigerator to be smaller and still do the same amount of work, uh, energy efficient. So I'm like, wow, that's cool. So even though the refrigerator is smaller, the space inside is the same. Let me show you the best feature that my other refrigerator was unable to do. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Look, look, ready? All right. How many times am I doing eggs on the show and I need an ice bath? Or I'm blanching vegetables and I need an ice bath? How many times do I need ice in a bowl for some reason, right? Well, this, look how wide this is. Look, you ready for this? Hit ice and just hold it right into the bowl. And I know what you're thinking. Well, I don't put ice in a bowl, but you want it in a pitcher. Look, look at how much room I still have. The whole pitcher. Ice comes out right away. Smooth. Takes but a second. So I'm getting ice, right? And I can switch right to water without even moving my cup. Look at that. And look at this. I still have shelving behind the ice maker. Is that crazy? It's called Slim Indoor Ice Maker. All right, so I can open it. I've only done this once, so bear with me. There we go. It opens up and your ice is right in here. And it comes out super easy. You lift it up and out. There we go. I like that. You know what that dinging noise is? Yep, that dinging noise is my door alarm. It's telling me right now that my doors are open, that I left them open. And you know how I know? Even if I'm not near the fridge, my watch app, there's an app that it connects to and it alerts my Apple watch and tells me my doors are open. If you wanna accumulate more ice, check this out. So I'm gonna close this really quick, just for one second. And right inside the freezer here, look, there's a container. You just put it right in there. I know I'm gonna dump this. You guys ready? Let's see if I can do it without ruining it. Ah, oh, look at that. There you go. That'll hold two more loads of ice from here. And you just take it and line it up, set it right in. Make sure the bottom sets in and just wiggle it. It's in good. Close the door, and then you're gonna clamp it closed. Done. Another cool thing is the LED lighting on the sides, on both sides and the top. I love LED lighting, it's so bright, and lots of times I'll have stuff up here and it'll block the lighting, but it still lights up from the sides so I can still see what I'm doing. Check this out, slide away shelves. You don't have to take the shelf out. You just lift up gently, this section tucks under and slides in, let me tell you why. You got a big picture of something, you're doing making some sweet tea, 
You don't have room on the doors. Uh, Thanksgiving turkey, set it right up in here. Like this one does the same thing. These two slide away. You got some tall stuff. No matter what it is, if you need the extra height, the extra room, it's there. Then when you're done, you've used that item, you just pull it right back out. I don't know if you knew, but on my other refrigerator, I had to do a sticky Arm & Hammer air filter. That already has a built-in air filter that I can change anytime I want. You just rotate it, open it, and put a new filter in. Now let's talk about the water filter. Look at that water filter. Look how compact it is. Doesn't take up any room in the fridge. This drops down. That's the new water filter I just put in. But it kind of looks like this. It's got a little T-top. You just slide it into the T-lock. You don't have to rotate it. You literally just leave it there. And then you take the door, and you close it up like that. Done. That air filter and that water filter are on your app and it tells you when to change it. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to check it. That's what the app's for. That's what makes the refrigerator smart. It communicates with you. And of course you have your airtight crispers. You can set it from vegetable to fruit setting. And you also have your temperature controlled pantry drawer. This is usually where I put my cold cuts and cheese. And then I put my fruits and vegetables in here. That's how I do it. There isn't anything that won't fit on these shelves. These are deeper than I've ever seen on any refrigerator. How deep are they? A full 10 inches. Unbelievable. So just to give you an idea how deep it is. I got my little pitcher uh, made some, let's say I made some sweet tea, right? Look, it'll go right in there. Look at, I got all this room back and forth. I can put my sweet tea in there and I can put my coffee creamers. I can put a half gallon of milk right here. I could probably put two gallon, half gallons back to back. This is a lot of room and you have the same room down here. So like what I would do is like if I'm, uh, like my bottles of wine that I cook with, if I'm using Merlot, I'll have it in the fridge because I don't use it all and it will fit perfectly. This is obviously for your eggs and your butter. At least that's what I use it for. All right, dispenser light. That is where the water comes out. I like mine lit all the time. There's a dim version and an on version. Door alarm's off right now, but I'll turn it back on when I'm done videotaping. Control lock. Let's say you got uh, kids coming over and you don't want them playing with the refrigerator controls. You can lock it. Refrigerator temp, 37 degrees. Freezer temp is zero degrees. Water filter, air filter, those both connect to the app. It'll tell you if you need that. Ice maker, you can turn that off if you're going on vacation. Smart grid means you are connected by your app to this refrigerator via Bluetooth. Okay, first thing I want to do is model my house slippers. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's right. My feet were cold. What do you want me to do? All right, here we go. This door is not light. It needs a good pull. So I'm just warning you right now. It has very, very deep containers down here. And then there's another drawer right here that comes out with it. I got to tell you. Nothing's worse than needing something and digging through a big trunk freezer. But with this shelving here, I can take the smaller items and there's shelving right in here too. See this, it tips out. You could put like frozen burritos here. You could put your vegetable packages here. Your big meats can go down here. Uh, I can even take this pizza and I can put my pizzas up in here. There you go. And line your pizzas up so you're not crushing them. So you have here, you got there, there, and then in addition, you got another section right here. You got your extra ice container and more storage. Easy access. This is the stuff I go for all the time. Put bacon up here and all that stuff. Stuff I'm gonna grab soon. Stuff I'm storing for another video or another day goes down deep below. So what I like about the fridge, I love the dispenser area. The water and the ice is flawless, it's perfect. It's simple, I don't need a bunch of gadgets. It's three simple buttons, plenty of room. That's what I love. The, the water filter pops in, boom, done. You know how much trouble water filters are with water coming all over the place? I can't stand that. The deep doors, love that. I love the food filter, the air filter. There's an air filter. I don't have to buy my, my air filter at the store anymore and stick it on the inside. So, the design is great. The app, that's probably the only negative thing I got about this refrigerator is it's kind of lacking, all right? And you're asking, well, what would you do with the app? Well, some of the things I'd do is I'd integrate a shopping list. Uh, I'd even put like a little, uh, little barcode reader on the app 
so that I can scan my milk. If it's my last milk, I pour it, I'm out of milk, beep, it goes on my shopping list. How cool would that be? And they could do that with this refrigerator, seriously. So I could just scan the items, I finish my peanut butter, beep, it just adds it to my shopping list. That would be awesome. That's like my biggest wish list because what happens is I gotta stop and I gotta find somewhere to write it down or, and, and I can't stand magnets on the refrigerator. Um, it just drives me nuts. I don't want one of those magnet pads. Ugh, it just takes away from how beautiful the fridge is. So that's it guys. I'm gonna drink my ice cold water. I'm gonna load up the, the refrigerator, give me a second, and then I'm just gonna give you a snapshot with all my stuff in it.